Hey everybody, it's Tim here. I thought I'd try something new, which is to demonstrate the crate of the week. And uh, this week's crate is Witchlang. And you might be wondering, like, which purpose does Witchlang, uh, like, actually solve? And, or like, why is it, why, what, <laughs> what purpose does Witchlang solve? Uh, Witchlang actually originates from a, a another library called Watlang. Um, and the job of Witchlang is to detect the natural language that a piece of text uh, is actually being used. So what do I mean? Uh, by the way, this is the GitHub repository URL, which I'll have in the comments. Oh, sorry, the description. And uh, here is its API. So Witchlang provides a single function detect underscore language that will take a string slice and return some sort of language object that uh, that you can interrogate later on. So let me show you how it works. And first, I'll just, um, let's just kind of like take a look and see um, what, what what this is like to play with. But first, I kind of just wanted to show you where, how, we, how we got here. And that's with This Week in Rust. So for um, down the bottom, is the crate of the week, which, which is uh, which is quite nice, and it's sponsored by a company called Quickwit. Quickwit uh, build a search engine, and the authors um, Paul, Francois, and Ivan uh, so Mauro um, are all very, very professional Rust developers, and so I'm expecting a lot out of this library. I must say, uh, we're get here a lot of very useful claims. The throughput is really fast, 100 megabytes a second, uh, quite a good accuracy, like over 99% accuracy, and multiple, like it has many languages. Um, the other thing that I think is really interesting is that they use quite a simple uh, technique called logistic regression. And logistic regression, if you're interested in machine learning, is quite an old technique. It's not a deep learning method. Um, you would uh, probably best to skip over that for the purposes of this demo. Um, and now we compare ourselves against uh, Watlang, which is kind of the original one. And uh, <clears throat> it seems that Witchlang is about 10 times faster and is also slightly more accurate. So. Yeah, I, I, my intuition about this being a very high quality library kind of is looking very true. The other thing that I want to show you uh, about the repository is that there is a Python notebook that demonstrates the training process, which I think is quite cool that they've actually gone to the, the process of being able to uh, do all of uh, assigning all the weights. Um, in in the actual repository itself so you can kind of see how the cake is made now uh let, let's let's kind of verify that it's as easy as what i thought uh, i've got here a little simple uh um oh, <laughs> a little simple uh repository with um some 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 rust files and inside here, I have a cargo.toml file that has already got the Witchlang dependency specified. And uh, let's sort of see it in use. So we'll start off uh, just by running hello world. And you can see uh, this is the default. And I can run this manually with cargo run. And I'll cut out a lot of the uh, noise uh, with the dash Q, which is dash quiet. And I get hello world. So. I said that all you needed to do was use Witchlang and then uh, detect language. And and I had a text variable. And uh, I think I used the, the, the string, some confusing text. but And I also created a language. And I got that from detecting the language. And I passed in text. And I'll just print out the lang using debug and we'll see where we get to with the next invocation we get english so that's useful <laughs> Ta <-da>! um, <laughs> hello world is indeed english uh i'm interested to see what um they would do with um terra maru uh terra maori 
which is um, the Eng English, uh, sorry, which is the indigenous language of New Zealand. Uh, it thinks it's TUR, which is not Māori. <laughs> you can see that it uh, might have, uh, it tries to make some prediction. And so if it doesn't know about the language that you are trying to um, actually ask it about, then, um, by the way, the Kiorofano means kind of like hello friends. Um, literally transliterated, it's kind of hello family. But um, the um, uh, so yeah, that's one thing to note with this library. It's super super quick. It's really lean. It has no dependencies. It's uh, really easy to kind of introspect the weights. Easy to use. The only downside that I can sort of see after playing around with it for a little while is that if you give it some input text of a language that it doesn't know about, it will try to just, it doesn't have an unknown language. It just has, uh, it just tries to guess of the languages that I know, this is the closest fit. So that is Witchlang. And I hope that you have enjoyed Crate of the Week. Goodbye. I'll see you next week.